Well, hey guys, hey Engine Builder fans. Hope everyone's having a nice Tuesday. We are in the Chicago area, and uh, you know we were checking out the IMTS show that's in downtown Chicago this week, which is a massive, massive trade show. Uh, you know, manufacturing and machine technology, uh, all the big guys like Mazak, Haas, Okuma, uh, folks like that are out there at that show and have some pretty cool machines, massive uh, trade show booths that are uh, enormous. Uh, anyway, we're in the Chicago area, so we jumped over to Stone Park, Illinois this morning, and we are here at Engine Rebuilders and Supply, and uh, we're going to go check out this shop talk to Andy Frontzak, the owner, and uh, show you guys around and show you guys what, what they do. So let's go inside. Andy, good morning. How are you? We are live. Say hi to the Engine Builder fans out there. Hello, Engine Builder fans out there. <laughs> How you doing? So guys, this is Andy Frontzak. He's owner of Engine Rebuilders and Supply here in Stone Park, Illinois. And uh, Andy's going to walk us through the shop and give us a little rundown of the history and uh, his time in the industry. And then, and then we'll, we'll show you guys around what he's got inside here. So, cool. Andy, take it away. All right. So a little history. Engine Rebuilders has been in business since 1940. I've owned it since 1992. This is our third location. It's uh, my son and myself and our guys here. Thanks, you take a tour? Yeah, and I, uh, you were telling us earlier uh, that uh, this is the second location for you. This is my third location. Third location. Third location. Okay. Yeah. And the so shop's been around. We Chicago first, and then we moved out to the suburbs in 98. Yeah. Moved into this building in 2004. But the engine rebuilders and supply name has been around been since 40. Yeah. 1940. Yeah. Older than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, let's walk around and... Uh, this is our yeah. sales area. We carry, uh, carry all the AMSOIL oil. AMSOIL, we put, we use our braking oil in every engine that we build. Every engine that goes out the door gets their, uh, yeah. their braking oil in it. Yeah. I've never had any problems with flat tip and cams. I Good AMSOIL oil product, yeah. Yeah, it's ARP. Studs. Now, Andy, you were telling us earlier you got about 6,000 square feet 6, here at the shop? Feet, yeah. All right. Yep. Very cool. Six guys. Total. Six guys, and, and one is your son, right? Six guys, and yeah. one is my son. Andrew? Yeah. Andrew does all the engine assemblies and some of the machine work, block work. He does all the block work. Yeah. Excellent. Right. Well, let's take a walk. Take a walk. Oh, hold on. You, so when we were in here earlier, you were telling us a little story about this gigantic valve here. Oh, yeah. If you guys can see that here. I can pull it out. Yeah. Here. Just a little valve. It's out of a Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, tell us a little bit about this thing, because uh, a customer brought it in, right? So, yeah, a friend of mine found it in the garbage, and it's... Uh, I don't know what it's out of, but there's an anchor stamped in the uh, in the head of it, so I guess it would probably be out of some kind of a, a big ship. He found it in the garbage. Yeah, crazy. And we had some kids come in and steal it, and uh, they were throwing it through the windshields of some cars over a car dealership down the street. Um, police confiscated it. And yeah, yeah. So we got it back though. <laughs> yeah, it's back in its rightful spot. It's been here a long time. A lot of people love it. All right, this is back. In, this is the shop. The messy inventory. We carry SBI valves, milling oil pumps. Yeah. McCoy's timing, Avon timing. All right, we got a guy asking if you got any 20 VT engine parts. 20 VT. Kind of parts. All right, for the guy asking about the VT engine parts, what what kind of parts do you, are you looking for? Rottler, Rottler valve grinder. But, 
and we do our head assembly. Some diesel stuff. We got some SBI performance valves. We're doing a Duramax heads, putting the performance valves in them. And springs. Yeah. Very good. This is uh, one of our assembly areas. Four fifty-five holes. John Deere tractor motor we're putting together for a game. Yeah, so you guys do a little bit of everything, right? Uh, Twenty-seven Chevy. So yeah, we pretty much do everything. You don't see many of these, do you? No, not too many. No. <laughs> we just have this rebabbed. We sent it out to have it rebabbed. Uh, Very cool. So yeah. you guys are primarily doing gas work but you'll gas do some gas yeah, or some diesel, diesel some uh, heads yeah, okay diesel heads. yeah so you got you got a Pontiac, Pontiac you got the olds you got the John Deere old and Chevy. some old Chevy. Chevy yeah Big yeah we do a lot of muscle car stuff though yeah it's mostly what we're doing What's on Andrew? Say hey. He's the guy, he's the guy, he's the boss. Uh, sturdy guidance seat machine. Machine. Yeah. Now, Andy, will you guys do all of your machine work here? Or is there we stuff do, that you'll send out to other folks? Okay. Three guys that we use. Yeah. So, yeah, plenty of yeah. cylinder heads going on. Yeah. All yeah. Mowing machine, Rattler, we got a new one coming, supposedly the end of this month, the beginning of the next one. Okay. Rattler CNC milling machine. Yeah. And Rattler boring machine. That's our old, an old one I have, I just keep it for doing small stuff. Yeah. Got to have the bridge for it, right? Got to have a bridge for it. Yeah. Sun and line home. Sun and route home. Yeah, I got a couple sun and machines here. We also have a new Rattler phone coming. Supposedly you have to write it the first of the year. Yeah, so for 2023, you're gonna have uh, a couple brand a couple new machines brand new in here. Yeah. 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 And you were telling us you're gonna you're gonna hang on to this guy and just kind of move him down Correct. over a yeah, little we're bit. Get rid of that bench and move yeah. this down and put the new one here. Yeah. Very good. Fine home. Everything laying here, as you can see, is uh, all customers, all customer work. Um, uh, here, tell the folks you got a couple bigger heads hanging, like this yeah. guy, and there's a few back here. That's a series six. Uh, that's an international head. Okay. Four sixty six. We're just rebuilt. Mitsubishi diesels. We got a couple dealers that we do work for. This one is. The tubes are leaking. We mark some where the tubes are leaking. This is where we pressure test them. Okay. Very good. This, with this machine, you can run either cold water through it or hot water. A lot of times, you can't find a crack and throw one. You run hot water through it. Yeah. It stimulates it being on the engine running. And uh, this is our. Our tear down and cleaning area. Alright. 
glass feed machine, shot peen, steel shot, oven, you bake all the kids there in the oven. This is a uh, solar blaster. I'm going to do the aluminum heads and the aluminum heads now with fall bearings and the oil galleys and stuff. Now you just soda blast them and you rinse it and it's gone. Where before we used to have to take the balls out. So you said the, saves a lot of time. you guys do a, a you guys do glass beating as well as soda blast. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yep. We do both. Okay. The heads that don't have any oil galley plugs or anything like that, we glass bead. Yeah. And the ones with and that's back know, over the ball there. Ball bearings and stuff. A lot of the imports have ball bearings, but so we don't. Uh, yeah. We soda blast them. Saves a lot of time. How about some of these heads here? You got? Yeah, that's a, a uh, yeah. What is it? That's a DD15. The other one's a DD Detroit head. A couple engines, a Hemi. Yeah. Andy, tell the folks uh, about how many engines you guys get in in a year and, and how much. How much you're getting through? Right now we have over 200 jobs in the shop. The two, the heads, uh, machine work, and complete engines. Blocks or completes we do a little over 100, probably 125 engines a year. Nice. And Good amount of work. That's a lot of work, yeah. Good. Good. At the back Again, here, is more all, parts. This is all customer work. Okay. It's a mess, but yeah. whether or not I. Uh, there's a method to the madness. There's a method to the madness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess you could say that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it this way. Yeah. Um, these are all the pictures for the pressure testing there. You put these over all the uh, water passages and then we pressurize it with uh, with air and then run water through it. So here now we're back. But, so yeah, we were just looking at uh, one of two balancers that the shop has, and this is now the engine assembly area here. That's a '69 Camaro 302 Z28 motor. Is that a 68 302? 69 302. 69 302. Yeah. Very cool. And Andy, you said your son, uh, Andrew, he's primarily the one out he's here. Yep. Yeah. 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 He does a good job. Yeah. And and he's been uh, doing it almost 20 years now, right? He's been doing it, yeah. Yeah. Been almost 20 years, yeah. Started out right out of high school. So hopefully he'll take over. Soon. Yeah. Soon. Yeah. <laughs> Any more to the story on this build? It's a numbers matching motor for a guy. It's, uh, yeah. Okay, so this one's out of a 1969 Chevy Camaro. It's a 302 Z28. Um, we did a, like a factory restoration, but put the screw in studs, lighter rotating assembly, internally upgraded cons. Then we'll get everything balanced, put a girdle on it, do the Mondello tricks, you know, get some, some power and some life out of it. Awesome. It's, uh. Just got done CCing the heads. Gonna torque plate home the block and get this one going next. Just a little clean up on the ports. 
Very cool. That's a Porsche engine waiting to be yeah, rebuilt. That's a 356 Porsche. Full restoration. Yeah. We're waiting yeah. for the guy to tell us he's ready. The guy's restoring the car right now. So. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you guys really see a, a wide uh, range yeah. of engines, yeah. don't you? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I mean, it's cool that you get that much in the shop, and it's cool that you guys you know, have the capabilities to do all of it. Right. You know? Yeah. We're, uh, we're interested in everything. So yeah. It makes really. it more interesting. Yeah. yeah. Instead of doing the same thing yeah. over and over. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Then we do some carburetor restorations too, for the number of matching engines, the mm -hmm. old original Hollies. I get them replated. Do restorations just like our engines for certain builds. Awesome. Got a little AMC 290 over here. Yeah, this is going in a, uh, was it 69? 69? Yeah, 60, I believe it's a 69 AMC. This car was, I think, the first one at the auto show or something like that, mm -hmm. when it first came out. And then it was gifted oh, wow. to one of the workers. Yeah, an auto show. Car, one of, so oh, yeah. wow. Bring it back to. These are starting a whole car. Yeah. That's neat. So, yeah. And he's yeah. finding the correct color paint for it. We have to paint it and finish it up. And you were telling us this got a Subaru build coming together here? Yeah, just beginning a Subaru, dart and sleeves, manly rotating assembly. Very cool. Yeah. This will be a fun little four cylinder yeah the Subaru guys they're they're passionate you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah we do quite a few yeah, of we these do quite a few Subarus yeah yeah nice. fun builds and we got a whole wall of cranks whole over wall on this cranks. side yeah uh, and this is stuff that's just in stock this in, is just stock in, in inventory right? we have yeah. yeah if we have get engines in with bad cranks we'll We'll use one of these off the shelf mm -hmm. instead. And this is our other balancing area. Our balances and, and use eagle rods. And use all different the eagle scat, callies, yeah, gorilla, bolnar. Use them all depending on what the customer wants. Andy, you were telling us that this balancer is the one you use. We use this one more so more than the other one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just more used to this one than the other one. We just you know, haven't been using it that much. So. Yeah, but yeah, we've had this one for a while. It's a good balancer. Very good. All right, so that's kind of the uh, full the yeah, full, circle full circle here, circle, coming yeah. back into the entrance where. That worked for me, took some pictures, and, and yeah, those are nice, yeah. Yeah, just shows people some stuff that we've done. Now we're back to the front. All right. Andy, anything else you just want to say to these guys in terms of, uh, no, thanks for taking you know, the tour with us. It's, absolutely. Uh, we appreciate you guys coming in. There's, uh, I don't know, anybody have any questions or anything? Didn't look like we had too many questions come through. Uh, got some people saying hi from Brazil. Uh -huh. A lot of people checking out the live today, but cool. yeah. That's well, cool. Awesome. Beautiful. Well, thanks for coming in. I appreciate you guys coming. Thanks, thanks for guys. having us. Yeah, and uh, thanks for showing us through the shop. No problem. Thank you. All right. We'll see you guys. Thanks for tuning in.